Tubal Cain. Yeah. <laughs> a good portion of that band will be playing in a couple months up at Wintergrass. The top string, the top string will be playing, and uh, that's pretty cool. All right. A couple of tops there, and they'll be playing up at Wintergrass, which is which is a great deal. Um, usually, for those of us who like to go to bluegrass festivals, it is a horribly dry stretch of time between early October and winter grass in February. And so to have this event plop down right in the middle of it is such a treat. Uh, we are, we're so thankful, those of us who, uh, we live kind of, I live in Yakima, and there's just not a lot of bluegrass there, and so I have to travel to see the bluegrass, and, and in the winter, it's, there's not a lot to even travel to. So to have this event is, is a great, is a great treat for us, and so there's a, a small group of folks I want to make sure I mention and thanks for, for putting this on. Uh, this is a, a benefit for the Bluegrass in the Forest, which is uh, the festival that happens in, in May. And that's, that's the other dry spell. You go from Wintergrass all the way to, uh, to this festival. This is kind of the first one of the summer festivals, the Bluegrass in the Forest here in Shelton. So uh, I'm thinking maybe you guys could, you know, maybe like in March or so you could put on another one. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's just, just about it. This is a great facility for it because the sound of this place is just so wonderful and uh, rain or shine, we've got a good place to come and listen to music and they open up the building so you can jam afterwards. Um, Jackson is going to do a, uh, a sound check with these folks in a few minutes, but I can, uh, I'd like to, like I said, uh, there are a few folks I'd like to mention and, and thanks for, for putting on this event. Uh, Dwayne Wilson and the uh, Christmas Town Kiwanis, who sponsored the Bluegrass in the Forest, were a big part of putting this on. Thank you so much. And uh, Gary Duders, this was sort of his sort of his brainchild. So Gary, thanks a lot for putting this together for us. Uh, Dave Miser from Shelton High School, who is uh, manager of this facility, he uh, usually is on vacation at this time, and he took took the time to come down and put this on for us. Thank you so much, Dave. And then to the Shelton, Shelton School District. To Greg Linder, who uh, is one of the, he's kind of the host band. He's a member of the host band, and he's been involved in Bluegrass in the Forest from the very beginning, and he's been active in, in putting this together for us as well. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm sure that there are others that I'm going to remember later, but I also want to uh, also thank Gary and Aaron and Katie Dewhurst to uh, share the time with their boys with us. It's a, it's a treat for us to get to see it. Well, this, uh, this next band is the host band for, uh, for the Bluegrass from the Forest, and they have been from the very beginning. So, uh, And they, they actually ended their run as a band last year at Bluegrass from the Forest, but they have agreed to come back and do a few, uh, do a few things for us so as, as time goes by. Sort of like uh, the Eagles get back together every few years and play. Well, uh, they'll go on tour for us, maybe. So. Of course, Luke is. Uh, and Luke, you're going to see. Let's see. You're going to. You'll, you'll see Luke up here in the first three bands. He's kind of the busiest man in show business. He plays in all these bands. And, uh, he's been gone for six months. Comes back and uh, you know. I think he's. I don't know. He's, I think he's maybe played the banjo a couple times in his in his absence. I'm not sure. He doesn't appear to have watched it. Uh, how many folks out there be going to Wintergrass here in a couple months? Uh, yeah. That's a, that's kind of a mecca for for Northwest bluegrass people because there's um, that's where you, you know national bands come and national bands come to this. Come, come to this festival as well. Uh, I've seen some awesome bands here over the years. Last year's festival consensus was just a, they were just show stealers. They were awesome. Uh, the boxcars have played here. Michael Cleveland has played here. Michael Cleveland, Flamekeeper. Uh, just a, a great array of bands. James King, I mean, just, just a whole litany of, of uh, just great bands come to this festival. And that, this year is going to be uh, the 10th annual, and it's going to be May 16th through the 18th. It's always kind of the first outdoor festival of the year in the Northwest. And uh, as I said, it's an outdoor festival, but if the weather is, uh, is bad, we get to play in here. Jackson, you ready to do a little sound check with these folks? Okay.
What do you want to hear, Jackson? Can everybody hear me? Do we even need a mic? Uh, you guys are probably nervous out there wondering what we're going to think of you. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> check, check, check. How's that sound? Is that good? Ken's got a really loud voice, so you better... Huh? You'll stand way back. Way back. What's next? Guitar? 